Chappelle. Collaborate is a cloud workflow platform that allows you to manage projects, upload files, and collaborate with the rest of your team. And an easy way to think about it is it's a bit like an advanced version of Dropbox. So if you imagine Dropbox with a whole load of metadata and a whole load of collaborative tools designed for pro video and a whole app e ecosystem surrounding it, and that's Collaborate. And um, the way it works is if you're a subscriber or you're signed up for a trial account, you create a project and then you can invite people to the project. And then they have access to um, the files in the project. Um, they can assign tasks, they can be assigned tasks, and they can generally interact with everything in the project. And the degree to which they can interact with the project, um, you have a, a lot of uh, control over. And uh, one way to organize it is to organize everyone into departments. So you can have a post-production department, you can have a producing department, you can have a client department. And that makes Collaborate really good for large projects because you don't get a whole load of uh, overload and overlapping files and information and everyone's looking at the wrong files and getting confused. So that's nice. It's also really useful for keeping content away from clients that you don't want them to see. So you can work in the post-production department Clients won't be able to see a thing, they'll have no idea what's going on. When you're finally ready for them to see the file, you just move it to their department and then they can see it and make comments on it. And um, Collaborate is really good at keeping you informed about what's going on in the project. And so um, you'll get alerts for all sorts of events like when someone uploads a file or um, when someone comments on a file or when someone assigns a task to you. And um, if that's not enough, you can even sign up for additional alerts. Like you can be alerted when um, a particular user views a particular file. So that's really useful for tracking if the client is actually watching the videos that you're sending them. And um, you can also send out links to people who aren't involved in the project. And um, actually, I'll show you that. And um, you have a choice over whether or not to um, require a password and what that password is, and you can choose um, whether or not they can comment on that. And um, you can send it out to a wide variety of people and include a custom message as well. And um, I know that there are some companies and government agencies who are a little nervous about putting all of their data in the cloud, and that's uh, understandable. So we actually have a solution for that as well, and it's called Collaborate Server. And what that is, is it's a version of Collaborate that you can run in-house on your own servers and storage. In fact, this entire demo is uh, taking place on the box at my feet. And um, what's nice about the uh, server version is it's your own storage, so it's unlimited. The only limit is the size of your hard drive. So that's nice. And um, if you get the top-end package, then you got an unlimited number of users per project as well. You also get um, a lot more customization. You can uh, skin it, change the color scheme, and change the logo as well. And um, so that's an option as well um, if you want a lot of control. And uh, there's more details about that on our website at collaborate.tv with a K. So that's a basic overview. But um, what I'm going to be concentrating on today are features that are a little more unique <coughs> or unusual and just things that I haven't really seen other people do. And um, so, first of all, we have a really good uploader tool. And you can upload directly um, from your web browser, but we really recommend that you use the tool because not only is it faster, but it'll encode the video, it'll grab the metadata, it'll do everything for you. And um, so that's, that's really nice because really it's just uploading is just a single click. Um, but what I really, really like about it is we've all been there, it's midnight, you're really tired, you want to go home, but you've got to wait an hour for an FTP upload to finish so that you can send out the to someone. What's nice about Collaborate Transfer is that it will automatically email your team as soon as the file is done. And you can even get it to send out links to people who aren't on your team as well. So that's really nice. 
Um, but probably my favorite feature is perhaps one of the most mundane features, which is that um, if something goes wrong, if the transfer fails, if your internet connection drops out, it will retry. And I just don't think enough software does that. And so you can really just go away and leave it, and you know that barring some kind of power cut or natural disaster, the file's gonna be uploaded and everyone's gonna get their link. And you can just have an early night. So that's really useful. Um, we've also integrated it with um, some of our existing apps, like, for example, Preference Manager. And um, this allows you to uh, take your editing application preferences with you wherever you go. So that's really, really useful if you're a freelancer because you can uh, back up preferences for any app that you're likely to use. So it might be the case that you're on Avid now, but next week you'll be on Premiere, the week after that, who knows what you'll be using. So this is a really great way of transferring all of your preferences, including your key build layouts, button bars, workspaces, um, for a wide variety of applications and um, easily transferring them to any system that you encounter. And uh, Preference Manager, by the way, is completely free. And it has a whole load of features um, other than the cloud ones I'm showing off. So it's a useful tool to have in your toolkit, even if you're not specifically using the cloud stuff. We've also integrated it with Post Haste. And what Post Haste is, is um, it's a project organization tool. What you do is you build up your template of your ideal perfect project, um, how you'd like it to be organized, and then you keep that template, and then whenever you um, need to create a new project, you create it from that template. So every project has exactly the same structure. And in theory, other people will take advantage of that when you give them the project and use that uh, to organize it. And you can also take that philosophy with you into the cloud. And um, so you can, let me just show that. So as you can see, it's now copied uh, my, uh, the folder structure template that I set up just now. So that's really useful. Again, completely free. Um, and it's also cross-platform as well. Um, so it, it'll work on Mac and Windows, although Windows doesn't actually have the cloud features yet. But it's a great time saver and completely free, definitely worth a look, even if you're not using it for the cloud features. Um, it's going to be a little tricky to show off because I can't show it off on the screen. But um, on the iOS side of things, um, we also have an app called Cineplay, and what that is is um, it's a mobile video player uh, for iPhone and iPad, and um, it's designed for professional video usage. So there are a lot of um, consumer-oriented players on the store, and the problem with those is that they don't read the time code, and they don't display any increment lower than a second, which doesn't really work for people in our industry. So uh, Cineplay will show the full time code. It will read the time code directly from the file uh, on your hard drive. It also will mask to various aspect ratios. Um, it will, uh, you can have draggable time code overlays. You can have title and action save overlays. And of course, it does integrate directly with Collaborate. So it'll, it'll play uh, videos directly off the server as well. And when you make a comment, that goes directly to everyone on your project. Everyone gets notified. So that's useful. But um, probably our most popular iOS app is Cut Notes, which is an iPad-only app. And um, what it does is it allows you, it's designed for, it's designed to um, minimize the amount of time you have to look down when you're trying to make a note during the screening. So we've all been there, you've got a pen and a paper, you see something that you want to correct, you start writing, and then you look up and a minute's gone past, you have no idea what happened. So cut notes, we can't really um, 
eliminate that completely, but currently this is designed to limit the amount of time that you spend looking down. And of course, again, it fully integrates with Collaborate. And actually, uh, one of the cool things that you can do is you can actually sync it directly to the web browser. So, I don't know if you can see this, but the time code is directly in sync with what's on the screen, and I can actually can you hold that up? and I can actually control it remotely, remotely from the iPad. Wow! And when I make a note, as you can see, it appears instantly in the list. Wow! <laughs> and. Yeah, that's, that's always a crowd piece. <laughs> um, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And I'll, I'll be coming back to cut notes later. But, oh yeah, I know what I was going to say. Okay, so you can actually take that one step further. And what you can do is you can actually have collaborative note-taking sessions with, with other people. So, um, we have a feature on uh, Collaborate called Comment Streams. What these basically are, are these are files, these are, these are placeholder files that allow you to put your comments in the cloud without actually having to upload a physical file. Because sometimes it's just too time consuming to encode the file and then upload it. Or sometimes it's just impossible because it's a live broadcast or something like that. So that's useful for those sort of situations. So what you can do, is you can have um, multiple people in a screening room with iPads who are all synced up to the playback source. And Cut Notes will sync with Pro Tools, it'll sync with Final Cut Pro 7, Final Cut Pro 10, and it'll sync with Adobe Premiere as well. And so you can all be synced up to the same source, you can all um, be taking notes at the same time and be instantly seeing each other's notes. And that's really useful because when you're with other people taking notes, oftentimes you're making notes on the same thing. So you get a whole load of duplicate notes. And so uh, using cut notes with Collaborate completely, completely eliminates that. And um, what's really nice is that when you're done with the screening, your editor or your assistant editor can log in and easily export the notes to the editorial software and he can begin uh, working on the notes before you've even gone back from the screening. So that's really nice. What if we could take it one step further though? And we just introduced a new feature called Synced Sessions. And what this allows you to do is actually sync your playhead on other people's computers. So you can have a shared viewing session with someone else and you can control the playhead and control what they're seeing. And we've also integrated it with um, Cineplay as well, but I should say at this point that this is a pre-release version. So it's not yet on the store. Uh, this is version 1.2, but it'll be out around about a week from now, depending on how long Apple takes to approve it. So it's not, it doesn't work with the current version, but it's coming soon, publicly. Okay, so what you can do is, let's um, session. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, it's in sync with the playback. Maybe you can see that. And as I play and pause, it'll play and pause on the device, and I can scrub around, and it'll keep up. So that's really useful for collaborating with people who are far away or in other countries. And uh, I've been using this for a while to collaborate um, with visual effects people because um, on the projects that I work on, we tend to do visual effects abroad. And so it's really easy if I can just point to a frame and explain it if there's any confusion. So that's really nice. 
Um, one final feature I want to show off is, again, exclusive to um, the new version of Cineplay that's not yet out. But um, just now I uploaded a file, and um, it's from the Ari Alexa, and it was shot in log C. So you can see it's kind of um, just washed out, very pale. Um, and I want to show this to a client, and I just want it to look a little better before I show it to them, because the fact that it's washed out is going to be the first thing they mention otherwise. And so um, what you can actually do is um, Collaborate has a relationship editor. And um, that allows you to say this file has a connection to this file. And you can specify the type of connection. So you can say this file is a higher quality version of this file, or this file is a lower quality version of this file, or this file is the script for this video. And the vast majority of those are just semantics. And they're useful to help you organize things and keep track of your media. But um, one new feature that we just added is you can actually um, add um, a color decision list um, as a child to a video clip, and that color decision list will be applied to the clip if the time code matches. And so, oh, actually, hang on. Let me, I'll, I'll do it before and after. Okay, so this is the, that's the before, and I don't know how you can see this at the back, but it's pale, washed out, and then I'll just add the color decision list. And get back and reload. And as you can see, it's a lot more vibrant. Well, you probably, again, you probably can't see that very well at the back. But yeah, so um, these are, and that gives you really a glimpse into the future because these are the sort of features that we're working on. We've got a wide range of apps and we're working on getting them all integrated with the cloud and getting them all bringing in metadata and taking out metadata. And so that's really just the start of several of the um, neat little automation, automation tricks that we're, we're working on and planning for the future. So just to wrap up, um, Collaborate has a wide variety of package options ranging from uh, $15 a month to $99. And uh, if you're a medium or large business, then you're probably going to want Collaborate server. And that starts at uh, $500. But that's to buy, that's not per month. And uh, I'm also going to be giving away uh, five free one-year licenses today in the raffle. Um, along with uh, free copies of Cut Notes and Cineplay. And uh, the rest of the apps that I showed are completely free to download as well. And so uh, the website is collaborate.tv, that's collaborate with a K. And as I say, there's a, there's a free 15-day um, trial, no obligation, you don't even need a credit card to sign up or anything. And um, the, this is just one product we make out of many, I, I think we have maybe 40 apps. I don't actually know. I don't actually know the number. It's around. It's around 40. And so um, you can find all of our other stuff um, at digitalrebellion.com. <laughs>